morning dear students i am pravesh paudel of siliguri tarai b8 college the eight third semester of session 2020 2022 so in our yesterday's class we have discussed some basic concept of ratio okay i hope you have got clear idea about ratio so today we are discussing some problems related to ratios okay so let's start with our first exercise of chapter 5 That is exercise five point one. Okay, so page number eighty two of your textbook Ganit Prabha. So students, see question number one. So let us express the following as ratios and let us write by understanding ratio of equality, ratio of less inequality, ratio of greater inequality in each case. Okay. First, you have to express you have to express this expression into ratio. Then you have to identify whether these ratios are a ratio of equality, ratio of less inequality, or ratio of greater inequality. Okay. So first question number one: four months and four months and one year. Six months, okay. So to write this expression into ratio, what will you do? First, you have to make this expression of same kind, okay. That means, uh, like uh, here we are, we are, we are given this expression into months and year, okay. So first, you have to convert this into same kind, like. Uh, you can convert this into month. You can convert uh, month to year and year to month. Whichever you feel easy, you can do that. Okay. So, so to convert this year into month because two countries are in month, one is in year. So to convert this year into month, what do you do? So everyone must know about that. Everyone is aware about. Uh, that how many months are there in a year? Twelve months. Okay. So since one year is equal to twelve months. Okay. Therefore, one year six months is equal to twelve plus six months. Okay. Twelve plus six is eighteen. Eighteen months. Okay. So now we have two quantities of same kind. Like first quantity we have in months, and second quantity we have in months. Okay. So you can write this as ratio. Therefore, the required ratio is equal to four is to eighteen. Okay. So you can cancel this. Two to the four, nine to eighteen. Two is to nine. Okay. So this is your required ratio. So now what you have to do is, you have to identify whether this ratio is a ratio of equality, ratio of less inequality, or ratio of greater inequality. Okay. So in our yesterday's class, I have told you about the condition. I have told you the condition of the three. Okay. Like. When you can say that the ratio is a ratio of equality, students. Okay, very good. Uh, when antecedent is equal to consequent. Okay, then when you can say that the ratio is of uh, greater inequality, when antecedent is greater than consequent. Then when you can say that the ratio is a uh, less inequality, uh, whenever antecedent is less than consequent. Okay, so these are the condition. So here. First condition is antecedent and second is consequent. So, antecedent is less than consequent. We are seeing that. Okay. So, when antecedent is less than consequent, what is what we can say that we can say that this ratio is a ratio of less inequality. Okay. Understood. Okay. Can you drop this? Okay, I am drawing this. Now, let's come to second question. Question number two, question number four. 
find the mix ratio find the mixed ratio of a by b is to c first part b by c is to a then c by a is to b these are the three ratios okay so you have to write the mix ratio okay so how will you write the mix ratio first multiply antecedent with antecedent and consequent with consequent whatever you see you get that newly formed ratio is called the mix ratio or compound ratio okay so mix ratio is equals to a by b into b by c into c by a is to c into a into b consequent part that is a b c isn't it so cancel this b b c c and a a okay so everything is cancelled so what remains one is to a b c so the newly formed ratio is one is to a b c which is your mixed ratio understood can you love this okay so next question come to next type we have done second type now come to third type okay if a is to b is equals to 3 is to 4 then b is to c is equals to 2 is to 3 okay find a is to b is to c this is your third type okay so in this type what you need to do is that first see the values of b okay see the value of b in both case what are the values of b 4 and 2 so we are seeing that the values of b are different okay so first you have to make the values of b equal so what will you do you will take the lcm of 4 and 2 okay you will take the lcm of 4 and 2 2 so what will the lcm of 4 and 2 so right two values of b are 4 and 2 therefore lcm is equals to 4 okay now now first ratio is a is to b okay first change this ratio 3 is to 4 okay so you have to change the you have to make the values of b equal okay so here the values of b is 4 and your lcm is 4 okay so to make this value of b equal to 4 what will you do you will multiply this by 1 then if you multiply this by 1 you have to multiply this by 1 that is 3 is to 4 okay then second ratio is b is to c okay second ratio is b is to c it is given as 2 is to 3 okay so here the value of b is 2 and the lcm of values of b are 4 so you have to make this value of b equal to 4 so what will you do you will multiply this by 2 so that you will get 4 if you multiply this by 2 you will multiply this by 2 itself okay so 2 to the 4 3 to the 6 so now you have got the value of a is to b and b is to c where the values of b are same okay are equal therefore a is to b is to c is equals to 3 is to 4 is to 6 okay so this is your new ratio okay understood okay so this is some problems related to ratios and now i am giving you some homework okay homework find the mixed ratio of 4 is to 5 5 is 
5 to 7 and 9 is to 11. This is question number 1 and question number 2. Uh, if a is to b, if a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3, uh, b is to c is equal to 8 is to 7. Find a is to c. Okay, so this is your homework. So if you have any problem regarding this homework, I will diagnose your weakness tomorrow by taking remedial classes. Okay, so this much for your today. This much for today. Okay, so we will see tomorrow. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.